seven. As a clinician and a personal trainer, you know how to do what you'd love to do, but the business aspect of it, you're not quite sure on how to go about that. I wanted to feel like I could be successful. I've known some people that have journeyed into their passion, but the business sense is where they're kind of lacking. And that's where 100K has came in and kind of helped me, kind of mold me and direct me how I should go about you know, coming on my business. And I totally have learned so much on this journey. Well, my journey started with fitness definitely a long time ago. So probably when I was 15, always enjoyed working out. I'd go with my mom to a gym. She would always be in the aerobics section and I would always be in the strength training section. And of course, back in my day, that women really didn't do a lot of strength training. It wasn't a heard of. So that was kind of like, I knew I was kind of different and had a different perspective on kind of what I like to do for fitness. And I graduated with a bachelor's in occupational therapy. And so I did that for many years. I love helping people. And I think that comes with the occupational therapy degree and uh, having the extra kind of classes that I've had to take for that, I think that's where the fitness has come about. I am the proud owner of Training with Chris K. I feel like I have a good understanding and diversity of different clientele. It could be from teenagers all the way up to elderly. And I think keeping wellness in check, keeping their everyday living in check, and that would be on the, the older individuals. For younger people, it'd be sports and keeping them healthy during their sports and nutrition-based too. Knowing I'm also not just the, on the physical aspect, but also nutrition-based. So finding out you know, what foods that can help them achieve their goals. As far as the flick community, I really feel there's been a, definitely trying, but there's a lack of nutrition-based programs or physical. We're starting to get it as far as parks and stuff like that. I mean, having places, safe places to walk and exercise. And I think that sometimes that people need a direction, like a person to help focus on, you know, what they can do to get the health, to stay healthy and with lifestyle goals. I've been in Flint all my life since uh, I was born and raised here. I'm a high school graduate from Flint Northwestern High School. I have a associate degree in business management and marketing. I also have a bachelor degree in arts and science and healthcare administration. I worked at General Motors for a couple of years and also started reinventing my business back up when I got hurt at General Motors. Um, so that's where I started more, looking more into my business and getting myself back out there. Mamie's Protein Smoothie Queens, was invented in 2017. I had went to the Genesee Chambers and I spoke with somebody with a half business plan. And I was dealing with some health issues myself as high blood pressure and um, lupus. My grandmother used to blend up a lot of fruits and um, a lot of different old remedies. And I used to ask her like, why are you blending up kale? Why are you blending up certain different type of fruits with alkaline water? And she said, this will help the skin, this will help immunity disorders or diseases that you might have in your body. Or I used to watch her blend up smoothies, fresh pressed juicing. And so I decided to come out with my own cure for, you know, different types of things that I was dealing with. But it was developed with the smoothie truck in 2019. While I was being built, I was still trying to get the products in, and I was still blending things up, mixing things up with my grandmother in her kitchen. You know, back then when she was coming up as a child, there was no, really nothing in the store for them to buy us that we going through right now, you know, like vitamins. They had to get things out, you know, growing from the ground, and that's basically what she taught me to, to use. And, me playing semi-pro basketball, I was always eating healthy anyway, so I just put it all together and then I have people just come in and tell me how to operate the business and do what I need to do to, to make the business successful and try to get a, a team behind me in my own community. Because I want to help the community as far as to solve the problems that 
they may be dealing with within themselves with weight loss or the immunity or something that can help them in the long run to stay healthy and save lives. That's what basically what my products, it's not just a product, it's a product that can help every individual to make their life a little healthier and make them live longer. <laughs> Servicing clients, customers in Flint and wanting to help as many people, babies, families in Flint have access to affordable, accessible, hair care, self-care, beauty, you know, maintenance. Because I believe when you look good, you feel good, honestly. So doing the things that I do and offering the services that I offer, I feel as though I've made a connection and I've also noticed where kind of there's a gap in, again, the knowledge behind hair and beauty standards and beauty care. So J. Nicole Custom LLC is a place of all things beauty. I'm a licensed hair cosmetologist. I specialize in hair, um, makeup, everything beauty. So if you're looking for kind of like a one-stop shop, I'm your girl. I really pride myself on the integrity of our hair, um, just actually learning the roots of our hair, learning a lot of things that we didn't know growing up or a lot of myths that are out there. So that's where I come in to help you really get a grasp of just hair care, how to maintain it, the do's and don'ts, really easy, simple steps. I really encourage my clients to stick with consistency. So I like to see my clients on a regular basis just to help them, again, maintain what they already have. I really like interacting with the younger generation, I guess you would say, the younger babies, because they are the most impressionable. And I know I went through a phase when I was younger and I didn't really know what to do, how to do it, where to go, where to start. So I'm kind of that person. And being so motivated with teaching education as far as beauty and hair, specifically natural hair, I created a new idea where I wanted to solely focus on just the education of hair. And I came up with the idea of Revive Roots. Revive Roots, essentially, literally what it says, to revive the roots through education, through history, through the meaning behind why we started doing braid styles or the meaning behind why we use bristle brushes versus uh, paddle brushes, you know, just little things like that. Because I want to get into education and teach interactive classes, have a platform where I can, you know, work directly in the community with the babies, with parents, with teachers, with adoptees, whatever the case is. I decided to pitch my idea with 100K Ideas and I did my research on 100K. I figured that would probably be the most uh, beneficial and they offered a lot of resources. So that's what I really loved about it. In doing so, I learned so much, like literally the binder they give you, things that I never thought of as far as a business from a business aspect because I've done everything by myself through trial and error just like over the years growing and learning working alongside 100k in this pitch competition like I said it just gave me new perspective gave me new ideas things that I didn't think about things as far as statistics and percentages and like how to label certain stuff and what to actually search like what if people are actually looking for these things so I had an idea what I wanted but I didn't know you know, kind of the the look. I knew I wanted something clean and simple and they did it. And as far as the assessment, I think it was great to see like where I could take my business, you know, and, and in the community to see if it was gonna be something that was doable and kind of saying, yes, this is doable and, and this is what you should do to, you know, make it go one step further. I think the team has always given me good ideas and how I can, you know, push forward on that. And I think that's that's one of the major benefits. So um, getting involved in the cohort um, program, it was very helpful. There was structured meetings that talk about my goals of my business and you know what kind of what I needed help with. You know, you can put everything on paper and but it's nice to hear it from someone giving it to someone else's perspective and you know which directions I should go. And they have the knowledge, and that's what I think is really important, that they have all the experience and knowledge, and I think having your mentoring team is important. I didn't know that that even existed, which I think is great, especially for young 
women entrepreneurs are coming into it. I'm kind of like a little bit older and that was kind of scary, I think. I'm an older individual who wanted to go into business, which a lot of people looked at me and they said, oh, you should have done that like 25 years ago. But I'm here to say you can do it at any time. And I think with having that cohort program that helps you even to organize and get you going in you know, the right direction. So you're going to come a little bit in front of the books and come straight back, okay? 100K ideas have helped me with my logo creation. They have helped me with the connection for my label designs, my web design. The best part of 100K ideas are the people that's here that cares for the people that's trying to get to the next level as being business entrepreneurs. And they give the person that's the um, business entrepreneurs a chance to believe in themselves to go to the next level and the communication and the great people here. It's been a good journey. I'm still still trying to build um, a journey with 100K as well. So Since I've done the pitch competition, whereas I see myself just like fully going, diving in deep and putting all my energy into Revive Roots, I found myself seeming like I was on some type of like time schedule and I didn't like the feeling of like, I wanna get this done, I wanna get this done. So I kinda took a step back and like I said, 100K gave me so many ideas and things to start with and then gradually get to the next step, gradually go to the next thing. Since the pitch competition, I've actually been more consistent and have pursued my YouTube platform where it's kind of the same thing that I want to do in person here in the, in the in the city of Flint. But essentially, I'm a virtual mentor. I, can, I tell everybody, consider me your virtual mentor, your bestie, your sis, to just give you advice. Things to know, easy steps, things that you can do at home if you don't have the resources, if you don't have the funds, if you don't have the ability to have standing appointments with a professional or go to the salon and treat yourself for self-care Saturday or whatever the case may be. After that though, I've seen a significant amount of growth. I'm almost to 10K subscribers on YouTube, which I'm really excited about. So that is what I've really been focusing on because that's something that I can maintain and just kind of keep a steady flow with. But Revive Roots is very much still reviving. Um, we're definitely working behind the scenes to make sure everything is as close to perfect as possible when I do decide to actually launch and start hosting events. I will give another person that's trying to be the best business entrepreneur there is, is to keep going, fulfill your own dreams. Don't let anything stop you from going to the next level. And don't be scared to ask questions. You know, questions about things that people might feel like they can be stupid questions to ask, but the question that you ask always can get you somewhere to the next level to help you move forward. Gotta ask questions in every area. <laughs> It sounds so cliche, but just start. Like, the idea that you hold on to, just start. I heard somebody say on a video, like, when you have a creative idea, immediately start to write on it. Immediately just start planning because it only sits in your brain for so long and then it's gone and then you don't have the ambition or like the energy to like just, you know, go. But if you have an idea, just start. And then especially with 100K, again, they have so many resources. So whereas you might not, have to start with, you know, a list of 12 things. You can start at just step one. Just start. You got to make that first choice is to actually step in. And it's scary. I mean, I think that's where a lot of people, it's like they are apprehensive, but I'm not afraid. I came in here. I I was like, and maybe a little apprehensive, but once I got in here, I, that all just went away. I think just taking that first step, walking in and making that decision that you're ready to you're ready to move forward. So when my clients leave with me at the end of the day, I really hope to f that they feel they've gained a sense of independence, like they can continue on and continue with their health. A lot of them, it's like they've strengthened a point where they feel like um, they're not as sore anymore. That maybe they are having some back issues or knee issues or shoulder issues. And now that I, you know, helped them with strengthening. They don't have that pain anymore. I think it's going through life just feeling healthier, to be honest with you. I mean, a lot of, and some of my clients, it was independence, like a couple more older or elderly, and they were getting to the point where they might have to go into a facility. And by me coming in there and actually working on their, 
you know, ADLs, which are strength and their everyday living stuff, they can live now independent in their home. And that makes me feel good. Like when I'm in someone's home and maybe they're, they live by themselves because the spouse is gone. Like I can see like danger zones, like they have rugs and, you know, stuff that, you know, actually helps them stay safe in their home. That is not typically a personal trainer thing. That's just an added bonus to what I have because of my background. So if you are looking for sort of a virtual mentor or just somebody to walk alongside you in your journey, definitely reach out. I'm always open to build new relationships, meet new people. I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and um, YouTube at J. Nicole Custom. If you're looking for a licensed cosmetologist who specializes in natural hair care, beauty, and just overall the integrity and maintenance, those are my two favorite words, integrity and maintenance of your hair to help you stay along a consistent journey whether you do things on your own, whether you just want somebody to completely take the load off and you wanna have a professional do that for you, definitely reach out to me. I'm located at 3192 South Linden Road and that is at my salon suite. And yeah, I would love to have you if you're looking for a stylist, a licensed stylist. And Mammy Protein Smoothie Queens includes protein shakes and supplements. I think anybody can benefit through drinking the products. I got three-year-olds drinking it. You know, so it's a lot that a lot of parents are pushing their children to drink smoothies and fresh juice and all. So it's basically a lot of nutrition that's in one bottle that you would get out of just taking one vitamin that you can take over the counter. It has a lot of flavor in it. Like a smoothie, just add alkaline water or any type of flavor that you choose to mix. But my customers prefer, they drink it through anything, organic milk, but the products has no sugar. There's no sugar additives in none of the products. So it's zero grams of sugar. That's all just filled with nutrients. I'm a type of person I love to help others without anything or cost to it. Cause I know it's a lot of people that struggles more out there than just me, but scared to say they struggle. And by me being a mother of three and a, a grandmother of six, I know that it's, it, it makes me get up to know that I got them to look after as well while I'm still here on earth. So it makes me get up and go hard each and every day. It's not an easy journey, but if you put your mind to a lot of things that, that helps you grow, you know, every day, you clock in, you always say, when you wake up every morning, you have to get up and, and say, I can do it. And if I can do it, everybody else can do it.